Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can convert your diesel heater, instead of running off a 12 volt battery, to run off of standard 110 electrical using this converter that costs roughly $20. This is quick, easy to do, and takes max 10 minutes. So as you can see, this is my Vivor diesel heater. It has a black and red wire that hook up to your positive and negative on a 12 volt battery. And that's traditionally how these are powered. I've got this 110 volt to 12 volt converter, which is gonna allow me to convert this diesel heater to run off of normal household receptacles. Using one of these, 110 volt AC to 12 volt DC converters. This is a 30 amp. We can wire this thing up so that we can power it off of a normal household receptacle. These cost roughly 20 to $30 depending where you buy it from. Here's the one that I used. I'll put a link in the video description of the one I bought. I've got an old extension cord here. This is the cheapest and easiest way just using an extension cord. So we want the male end, which is the end with the prongs. And to do this, we need a ground wire, which means we need three prongs. Two on the top, one on the bottom. An extension cord without a ground won't work. So <clears throat> as you can see, I've got an old extension cord here and I've cut it to about two feet. Again, you could cut this anywhere. Simply just take a wire cutter, cut it off. Now, what we wanna do is strip this outer sheath on this extension cord and bare these wires. So, I've got a utility knife here and I am simply just going to score this plastic sheath so that I can bare these wires. I scored around there, so now I can pull that off and I have my three wires, which as you can see, we have a green, a white, and a black. The green is going to be our ground, the white will be our neutral, and the black will be our lead. So the next thing that we want to do is strip the outer sheath off of, off of each of these three wires and that will allow us to access the copper on the wires. Okay, so to strip these, I've just got a standard wire stripper. As you can see, there's different gauges here. So I'm gonna take this in, and I wanna strip about half an inch, bite it on, pull it off, and as you can see, we have the copper exposed. So we're just gonna twist this so that we have a nice, strong strand of copper wire and then we'll do the same to the other two wires. Just like that, we've got the three strands of wire on the male end of our extension cord. Next, we want to grab our converter. And as you can see, there's all these different terminals here and they're all labeled. So I'm gonna take you over to the workbench and show you what we need to do from here. Okay, so as you can see on our converter box, we have a whole bunch of different terminals. These ones with the V's we can ignore for now. We want to focus on these three. So on our extension cord the green wire is the ground which is going to go to this terminal here. The white wire is the neutral and the black wire is the lead. So I'm going to connect all of those. I apologize for this footage as my hands got in the way, but I'm using a Phillips screwdriver to loosen the screw from each terminal, and then I'm placing the wire into the terminal, and then tightening the screw back down to pinch the wire. As you can see, we've got black to the lead, white to the neutral, green to the ground, and they are all connected onto there. Now, the next thing we want to do is plug this in and confirm that it's working. When you plug it in, the fan should turn on and that light will go green. So our converter is working. 
Next, we want to check the voltage of the converter. So using a multimeter, set it to 20 volts. With the red prong, we're going to hold it onto the top of the V positive and the black to the V negative. I'm on the V positive and I'm on the V negative. And as you can see, we're at 11.92 volts. This yellow is an adjustment. So we can take this and we can adjust that, which increases our voltage. Let's check it again. Right now I'm at 13.35. So I want this ideally to be right around 13.5 to 14 volts. As you can see, we're at 13.7. These diesel heaters run the most optimally between 13.5 and 14 volts. So I've got that adjusted so that we're right in the middle there, which is exactly what we want. Now we can disconnect this and hook it up to our diesel heater. These diesel heaters are wired up to run off your 12 volt battery. So they have a black and red wire. We wanna take these and just like we did when testing it, we want our red wire from our diesel heater to go to V positive and we want our black wire to go to V negative on the converter. So grab your Phillips screwdriver, loosen the screw on the V negative, place the black wire in between, tighten the screw down, and then do the exact same thing on the V positive with the red wire from the diesel heater. Okay, you can see the wire coming from the diesel heater. Black is on V negative, red is on V positive. Now we can flip that down. Now that we're all hooked up, I can just plug this into my outlet. As you can see, we are plugged into the outlet. Our diesel heater is reading 13 volts. I can turn it on and you can hear it running. For those wondering, this will not harm your diesel heater. It's actually better for the machine as it's running at a more optimal voltage. Thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section.